Hello kids, it's me, Simon, Cool School's fairy frog mother. I can't believe it's already time for more fairy tales with Miss Booksy. I guess time really flies when you're having fun. Mmm, flies. I love flies. Delicious. Okay, let's get hopping. Hi kids, welcome back. Ready for another story? <laughs> yeah, me too. Today's story is... Cinderella. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cindy. There we go. <laughs> so as I was saying, my name is Cindy, kind of like Cinderella, <laughs> which is what my not so nice stepmother and stepsisters call me. I had to go live with them in a dark, cold place called Europe, where they have castles and princes and stuff like that. But I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> They're always making me do all the chores. Like, it's normal for kids to help out with the dishes, feed the dog, clean her room, and stuff. But they made me do everything all day long. I'm cleaning toilets, tying their hair bows, ironing their socks. Well, seriously, who needs their socks ironed? My only solace was my cat fry ball. <laughs> and since my stepsisters were allergic, I had to keep them outside. <gasps> and it can get wicked cold in Europe. One day, an invitation arrived. The prince was having a grand ball and everyone was invited. I finally had something to be happy about. Fryball and I did a little dance. But my evil stepmother told me there was no way I could go. You have to clean the bathroom floor that night. Duh, it's Friday. She was right. Friday was tub and toilet night. Friday came and my lousy stepsisters put on their lousy new dresses and strutted out to the ball while I got out my scrub bucket and brush and got to cleaning. I'm gonna be honest, I cried. <laughs> Just a little. Don't be sad. Cheer up. Thanks, kids. Look, a fairy. <gasps> she said, don't be scared. I'm your fairy godmother. I didn't know I had a fairy godmother. Oh, OK, so that explains why you never call or visit, send me an email, edible bouquet. Now stop your crying. Let's get you to the ball. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm kind of cleaning the bathroom. It's tub and toilet night, and I don't have a dress. Oh, please, stand still. <laughs> wow, pretty. Now you'll find your limo outside. I did a little wand action on an old jack-o'-lantern for that one, and Fryball is your chauffeur. Uh -huh. Now off you go. Oh, wait, one thing. You gotta get home by midnight. That is so important. I can't stress the importance here. There's always a catch with these spells. And just like that, I was on my way to the ball. Woo! It was the most fun party ever. Snacks galore. They had a chocolate fountain, an eight foot meatball sub, awesome music, a conga line, a wee, karaoke, foosball. It was magical. I met the coolest guy in the world. We played bowling on Wii. We ate nachos. And we realized we had the same taste in like everything. We like the same color. Red. red. The same food. Cheese doodles. doodles. The same movies. But, but the, the best, best one is Toy Story, Story 3. Jinx, you, you owe me a coat. <laughs> Even the same taste in shoes. Sneakers, Sneakers to a ball? It's midnight, y'all. I didn't have time for goodbyes. I made a run for it. Bye. I forgot to ask her name. Oh, I always get something wrong. By the time I got back to my limo, it had turned back into a jack-o'-lantern and Fryball back into a regular cat. I was back into my regular clothes 
and somehow I had ran right out of one of my sneakers. With one shoe and fry ball by my side, I walked home. The next day, there was a breaking news announcement from the prince that he had met a great girl at the ball who would make a great princess, but he didn't know who she was. I must find her. All I have is this, this shoe. And I will canvas the land and find the foot that fits this sneaker. I really think she might be the coolest girl in the whole world. Say what? I was hanging out with the prince? Whoa, this was an interesting turn. My stepsisters he argued over me. which one of them oh, it was. Oh, he loves me. It was great. Little did they know, it was me. But when the prince and his prince people came round to do the test fitting, my stepmom sent me out back to wash the windows. I watched as my stepsisters both tried to squeeze their big feet into my shoe. Then he saw me. Hey, what about her? Please, will you try on this shoe? You. And that's when my stepmother and stepsisters screamed and passed out. They didn't handle shock very well. I'm, um, I'm Ron Charming. Hi, I'm Cindy. You, you owe me a Coke. Coke. Jinx. Now you, you owe me another Coke. Coke. Jinx. Jinx. Now you, you owe me another, another Coke. Coke. Jeez. That went on for quite a while. And then we lived pretty darn happily ever after from that day on. It was a real Cinderella story. Hi kids, I've got a brand new story for you today. This is the true story of Beauty and the Beast. Once upon a time, there was a really sweet girl named Belle. Yes, I get to be Belle. So anyway, Belle. <laughs> I mean, I lived with my dad and two sisters. My dad sold cosmetics door to door. You know, makeup and lipstick, that sort of thing. One day, I was packing up a huge order. 25 bottles of shampoo, 100 bars of soap, 10 things of curl goop. Ugh, it was a lot. Who could have ordered all this stuff? A giant poodle? My dad had gotten a wicked bad flu, and I had to make the delivery. And I didn't even know his route, so I had to use a GPS to get there. Turn right at the very scary looking gate. Continue past creepy gargoyle statues. You have arrived at your destination, the beast's house. Huh? Hello? Who's there? <sighs> okay, Th that sounded like a monster or something. Time to go! <gasps> what do you want here? Oh, there, Chewbacca. Easy, easy. I I'm just delivering the hair care products that you ordered. Oh, fantastic! Uh, <clears throat> do you have the curl enhancer and the cocoa butter soap? I, I totally prefer cocoa butter. Great for sun damaged fur. Oh, hey, buddy, you're doing that wrong! Here, let me help. Oh, that's much better! Uh, hey, actually, I, I'm looking for an assistant. Uh, you aren't looking for a job, are you? Well, my family did need the money, so I took the job. It actually wasn't so bad. The Beast gave me a sweet room, like a room for a princess. I had a closet full of amazing dresses. Oh, and there was a state-of-the-art home theater. <laughs> oh, and a full-time pizza chef. That's right, kids, pizza 24-7. Ah, non-stop pizza. It was a pretty cool job. I did miss my dad a lot, but we Skyped like all the time. Hi, Dad, it's so good to see you. Yeah, I'm doing great. I love my room. Get out of here. <laughs> I was becoming really good friends with the Beast. What's your real name? Actually, uh, it's Harry. 
You've broken your cup again, Harry. You have to be dainty with teacups, like this. Thanks, Belle. <clears throat> what would I do without you? Belle, will you ma- <laughs> So of course, that's when my sisters call. Dad is really sick, they tell me, and I need to leave right away. What was Harry gonna ask me? Boy, talk about a cliffhanger. The Beast was just about to ask me something pretty important, but I had to hurry home to take care of my dad. I made him chicken soup, I read to him, and told him jokes, and he was feeling better in no time. I told my sisters all about Harry, and they were super rude. They called him all sorts of mean names, like Furball, Ugly Harry Guy, Jabba the Mutt, You probably have lice. Deep down, I knew they were just jealous. I was having a really good time with Harry. He was nice to me. We had so much fun together. And did I mention the nonstop pizza party? Hello. <laughs> they said I was being selfish and that I should just stay home. I said, okay, fine, I'd stay. But just for a little longer, I wrote a message to Harry and asked my sisters to please give it to the postman. I wrote, dear Harry, Please forgive me, but I must stay for one more week. See you soon. Yours truly, Belle. Meanwhile... Dear Harry, get it? Cause you're so hairy. Please forgive me, but I must stay forever? See you soon? Just kidding, see you never? Not yours? Belle? P.S. You are Harry. Aww. When the beast, I mean Harry, cried, I felt his sadness from miles away. I didn't know exactly what, but I knew something was terribly wrong. Hey, I don't know what you did, but I know you did something terrible, and I'm gonna fix it. You, 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 you mean bad sisters. Oh, I'm not really good at coming up with insults, but that's because I'm nice. I found Harry nearly smothered in a mountain of dirty Kleenex, whimpering like a hurt puppy. Oh, I went to hug him and tell him that I was back and that everything was gonna be okay. But the sight of him so sad made me so sad. And one little tear fell. And you're gonna wanna go slow motion in this cause what happened next is amazing. My tear falls on Harry's face and he turns into a prince. Yep, a prince. And not a hairy prince, a really cute and handsome prince. <laughs> Seriously handsome. And that's when he told me about the curse. He had been a vain man and interested only in money and his looks. Then a witch cast a spell on him to teach him a lesson. She turned him into a beast. The spell could only be reversed when he fell in love. The catch was, she had to love me back. And she totally does. And I do. And that kid is true love. Total bonus that he turned into a prince. Oh, double bonus, because we got an ice cream bar for a wedding present. <laughs> yep, we had a fairy tale ending. Just eating pizza and having some ice cream. Chillin'. Me and not so Harry the prince. <laughs> Hi kids, it's me, Miss Booksy, and it's story time here at Cool School. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Miss Booksy. <laughs> Are you ready for a new story? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, we're almost like for story time in that channel, I mean, I love story time. <laughs> oh yeah, me too, me too. I hope it's a robot story. <laughs> robot story, I love robot stories. Okay, okay. Is everyone ready to read Sleeping Beauty? Oh, oh. yeah! Oh. Once upon a time, there um, was a uh, sleeping beauty. Miss Booksy, mm -hmm. I have uh -huh. a question. Harry has are a question. There, are there robots in Sleeping Beauty? Um, no. Oh. Oh. There are no robots in Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, I, I heard, I heard. It's okay. Uh, I'm sure it's a very nice story anyway. You go ahead. Of ahead. course there are no robots. It's an amazing story about taking a huge nap. And then, when you wake up, finding true love in spite of an evil witch fairy! <laughs> really? Well, you know, that could have been an evil robot, you know, but it's okay. Go ahead, Miss Benzie. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. thanks, Miles. You're welcome. Here we go again. Sleeping Beauty. 
Once upon a time, a beautiful little baby princess was- Oh, 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 oh. can we be in the story? Can we be in the story? <laughs> Is there a good part I could play? Oh, me too, me too! Well, well if there too, are yeah. any parts being handed out, I know a young thespian who would relish the opportunity to perform. Relish? Thespi something? What? what? <laughs> sure, guys. Uh. There are some great parts you can play. Miles, you can be a fairy. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> How about uh, being the king? King? Yeah, that you're talking. <laughs> Since king. you're the king, uh, can you also be a nice fairy? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, fine, since I'm the king. Well, I don't care what I am. No, I totally do. Can I be the prince? There's always a prince. Well, you're right. There is a prince, and you're him. Or he's you. Or something. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> and Eleanor, I'm thinking you can be the evil fairy. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Watch out, guys. <laughs> I think you might be too nice to be an evil fairy. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Okay. Sleeping Beauty, take yeah. two. <laughs> Once upon a time, a beautiful little baby princess was born in a magical kingdom. The king and queen invited the seven fairies. You know, the magic fairies who come to bless the little babies. Fairy, is that me? Nope, not yet, just a sec. Okay. Miles, it's your turn. Whoa, here I am. <laughs> well, the wings are actually, actually pretty cool. <laughs> Anywho, so all the fairies were invited. Well, all except for one fairy who hadn't responded to like any invitations recently. I mean, that fairy never shows up, so why even bother inviting her? That turned out to be a bad idea. Well, the uninvited fairy, Eleanor, you're the unhappy fairy. <laughs> So, she found out about the blessing party and got super annoyed that she wasn't invited. So she crashed the party. Not only did she crash it, she showed up really late, right in the middle of the king's flute solo. And instead of a blessing, she had put a curse on the baby. Toil and trouble, my curse upon you shall bubble! Instead of growing up to be something special and having fame that will linger, you will touch a spindle and get pricked on the finger. And then you will sleep for 100 years in a big snorty heap. And if you're lucky, a prince will wake you and you'll think he's neat. Oh, I almost forgot this. To totally 100% break the spell, the prince has to give you a kiss. Mwah! As you can see, it was a pretty evil curse. The princess would get pricked by a spindle, ouch, <laughs> and sleep for a hundred years. And after all that time, she could only be awoken by a prince who kisses her. Ugh, a hundred years of sleeping and there's still a catch. Ugh. The king was like, to avoid that mean fairy curse, there shall be no spindles allowed in this kingdom. So the little princess grew up into me. <laughs> so I'm chilling, no spindles around. I wouldn't even know one if I saw one. Seriously, like what's a spindle? <laughs> this turned out to be a problem because there was one little old spinster who didn't get the memo. I didn't know, nobody told me. One day, I saw her spinning away, making the most beautiful thread for the most beautiful gown. I asked her, hey, could I try your cool spinning machine thingy? And as fate would have it, I pricked my finger. Uh-oh, I think that's a spindle. Ugh. Oh dear, that's not good. My parents were devastated. Rather than have life go on for the 100 years while I was sleeping, they asked one of the nice fairies to put a sleeping spell on the whole castle so we could all wake up together. Miles, that's you again. If a prince doesn't kiss her, we're going to be weepy. But for the next 100 years, we're going to be sleepy. Nighty night. Dun, dun, dun. 
Okay, fast forward the story to exactly 99 years and 11 months and 30 days later. This very nice prince from a nearby kingdom was checking out the local real estate and saw the enchanted castle just peeking out from behind the jungle there. Yep, I'm just a handsome prince doing princely stuff. Hey, what's that over there? Looks like an enchanted castle. I better call my dad, the king. Hey, Dad! Um, well, this is the king. Who's this? It's Harry. Oh, Harry, my boy. Yeah, what can I do for you? What's up with the enchanted-looking castle on Sleepy Lane? Oh, you mean the one with the brambles and the trees and the kudzu all over it? That's the one. Oh, yeah, well, now that you mention it, uh, oh, hey, what day is it? Hold on, hold on. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, totally slipped my mind. Okay. There's a princess in there, cursed to sleep for a hundred years. And she needs a prince to wake her up and give her a kiss. Really? Bummer. Hey, wait a second, I'm a prince! <laughs> oh yeah, fantastic coincidence that is. Hey, uh, would you mind? Wanna go be a prince? Wake her up? Oh. Well, it is the princely thing to do. That's my Thanks, boy. Dad! <laughs> Okay, Harry, this is a really important part. Are you ready? Am I ready? Are you kidding? You're talking to the prince. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, I don't want to startle her. So, um, oh, boy, I mean, a hundred years is an awful long time to sleep. Uh, she might be really grumpy. Uh, okay, I'm trying to do this. Wakey, wakey! Time to wake up! Hello! You've been asleep for a hundred years! Time to wake up and smell the coffee! Oh, oh coffee! Oh, maybe I should make some coffee. Where's the, uh, the kitchen? Kitchen, yes! Look at all that there. Well, that woke me up. <laughs> good, good morning. I uh, I hope you don't mind, but I had to, I had to wake you, and um, now I uh, I have to uh, kiss you in order to completely break the spell. I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, it's 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 kind of what I have to do. I mean, I didn't I didn't cast the evil spell. I just um. Uh, mm. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> wow, suddenly I was awake and happy. <laughs> the evil curse was broken. It only took a hundred years. <laughs> Miles, <clears throat> now. Oh, 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 yeah. Tis I, Miles, I mean, the good fairy. I've come to bless you with happiness. You will get married and live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Who put that there? Oh, oh. sorry about that. That's uh, okay, I'm good. Huh. It was the stuff fairy tales are made of. True love at first sight. The prince and I got married, and when we had our own little baby, we made sure to have a strict no curse policy. Oh, hey, I'm here for the party. Oh, 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 that picture? Oh, no, no, that's not me. That's some other bunny. Oh, this, this wand. Oh, no, 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 I don't have a wand. No, 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 I'm a good fairy. Yeah, I only put good curses on people. Come on, let me in! Oh, man. The end. <laughs> what a great job, you guys. <laughs> what story should we do next? Oh, 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 I want to do a story about King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. No, 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 no. That's something with dinosaurs in it. Big, oh. scary dinosaurs are all like, rah, dinosaurs at the Round Table. How about Cinderella. Oh. Some with aliens. Yeah, yeah, aliens. yeah. Aliens. Yeah. Aliens. Zombie Cinderella. Cinderella. Yeah. Robot, <laughs> big robot. Okay, okay, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I <laughs> guess we have some thinking to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you here at Cool School. I got a lot of requests in the comments to do a princess craft, so. Let's do a Cinderella-inspired craft. What's better than that? We're gonna make two crafts. I'm gonna make a Cinderella crown, and I'm also gonna make a magic wand. So what do you need to make this craft? It's pretty simple. I've got some blue paper here, some glitter. I got duct tape, a pencil, scissors, 
We've got a headband, pretty things like some sequins, some pearls, and I got some glue so I could stick it all together. So, I think the next step is to get started making this craft. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sketch a little crown shape here on our blue paper. And I'm gonna show you a cool trick to make this perfectly symmetrical. So I only drew one side here. You fold your paper kind of loosely like this, and then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it out. So look at that, comes out just perfect. It's gonna be great for our crown. All right, this is a scrap of paper. I don't think we need this. I'm just gonna go and throw it back there. Hope I didn't hit any cats or anything. So next step is let's make this thing glittery. Just cover it in some glue. Okay, so once you got your glue on there, next step is to apply some glitter. So, shake that on there. You want it to be pretty sparkly. You don't want to show up to like a fancy ball and everybody's got a sparkly crown except you. That's crazy. I'm gonna have the sparkliest crown there. Okay, I think that's enough. The next step is you just gotta let the glue dry, which could be really boring, just be sitting around waiting, but it's not gonna be boring at all because I challenge you to a staring contest. All right, get ready, one, two, three, go. You're about to blink. I, oh my gosh, I don't know. Oh man, that was, it was the worst staring contest of my whole career. I think, you know, I probably got some glitter in my eye, so that's, you know, you maybe won this time, but you know I'm really good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sparkly little crown front here, and we're gonna attach it to our headband so we can put the crown on. Now don't go freaking out on me if you don't have a headband because you can make the band for your crown with something else. You can use a ring of construction paper, you can use like a piece of t-shirt, you know, a little piece of string of fabric and tie that around. You could use a ribbon. There's lots of things you could do to make your crown. So, but I'm gonna use this headband. So let's start by cutting off a piece of duct tape. <laughs> Snip it. You put the headband down. Once you have it centered, you're gonna roll it over and you're gonna place some tape down. So we're just gonna keep doing that until we've got the bottom all covered. All right, so look at that. We've actually already got a little crown here. Except it's not done yet because we're gonna add some sequins and some pearls and you know, just make it all. Oh, fabulous, all right. So this is where you can get creative. You can do whatever you want with these. You can you can put a, an initial for your name. You can put one sequin or you can put like a hundred sequins. It's all up to you. Okay, I'm gonna do a pink sequin and I'm gonna do uh, another pink sequin. And uh, let's see, mm, another pink one. So I got some more gems on there. That's looking really pretty. All right, let's do some pearls. Making a huge mess. Oh my gosh, gonna have glitter everywhere for weeks. It's okay, glitter's sparkly and awesome. After you get everything added on, you wanna give it some time for everything to dry so all your nice, beautiful things don't fall off or get stuck to your hair. But once you have it all dry, you have one last step. Be fabulous! At the ball, you know, having fun, checking things out. Oh, hey, is that a prince over there? That's cool, I don't know, I'm pretty cool, I'm pretty laid back, I'm feeling confident in my crown. You know, whatever. Well, okay, it's time to make our second Cinderella-inspired craft, the magic wand. I got a lot of the same ingredients. I'm gonna use the sequins again, glitter, scissors, duct tape, glue, pencil, and a blue card. But I also have sticks here, and I got some uh, curly ribbon. All right, first step in making the magic wand. You can decorate your wand part, your stick. I just painted this one blue. I actually just used a magic marker. I didn't even use paint, I just, just drew it on there. But you can roll it in glitter and make it sparkly, or you can cover it in some shiny washi tape or something fun like that. Or you can just color it blue, like I did. Next, we're gonna, we're gonna make two stars. Or you can do maybe a heart on top, or you can put like a little crown at the top of your magic wand. You can do a dragon's head, whatever you want. All right, so I'm gonna sketch out my star. All 
All right, so I got a simple little star here. Now how to make two stars, that's easy. I'm gonna fold over my paper, and then we're gonna cut the star out. Okay, check it out. Two stars, oh look, they're still connected. They're like best friends. Oh, all right. Sorry guys. Okay, so now we're gonna decorate these stars with some glitter. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper here to lay down so I don't make a big old mess. Bam. Get some glue down there. Let's do some gold on this one. We did all the the multicolored pretty glitter on the uh, on the crown, but let's do some gold for our, our magic wand. Ooh, that looks fancy. All right, so we got one star covered in awesome gold glitter. Let's do the other one. Dump on your glitter. There you go. Just lots and lots of just a healthy heaping amount of glitter. All right, so then once you got your stars all glittered up, then you gotta wait and let them dry. So it looks like our, our stars are nice and dry. So I'm gonna put one face down. Now I'm gonna take my stick, my wand right here, and I'm gonna place it in the middle. I'm gonna get a little bit of tape. Slap on some tape there in the middle of the star, like so. Okay, and now I'm gonna add some ribbons. So same thing there, you just put it there, and then you just tape it down. Okay, look at that. We're almost ready to cast some spells. We're gonna glue on our other star to the back. So let's just glue on this other star here, and we'll take our other star, fit it on there. Well, there you go. We got a nice Cinderella-inspired fairy godmother magic wand. Wish I had a giant bowl of candy. Magic bullet, a bullet candy just appeared out of nowhere. This magic wand, this magic wand's amazing. You gotta, you gotta, you're gonna have to get make one of these. <laughs> well, there you have it, boys and girls. We made a princess crown and a magic wand. So you know what to do next. Get down there in those comments and tell me what you want me to make next. So I want to give shout outs to the people who requested princess crafts. Elisa G, she says, can you make a princess craft? Yes, Elisa, I can. Sandy Lee said, can you do a princess craft? Sandy, I just told Elisa, yes, I can. Robbie Ahmed, make a Disney craft. Sound kind of bossy. Maha Ahmed saying, could you do some princess crafts, please? So just because you said please, I'm gonna do it. So thanks for those comments. Keep writing down requests in the comments. I love hearing from you, and uh, I love it when you get bossy and tell me what kind of crafts to do next. All right, so you wanna click right over there to subscribe. There it is, and you're gonna wanna click right here to watch more cool school videos. All right, this, this thing really works. All right, now I gotta wear my crown too. All right, bye kids.